What's up everyone and welcome to, as it now has a name, Chapel's Concert Chronicles. And tonight is, uh, uh, it's March 8th, we are here in Asheville, North Carolina, land of Billy Graham and hippies. <laughs> I love this place, one of the best, uh, best places I like to visit. You know, there's so many cool attractions here and cool places to grab a beer here in Asheville, but that's not why we're here tonight. Why we're here tonight? We're here for Uncle Acid and the Deadbeats and Graveyard tonight at the Orange Bill. Now, I personally am not here for Uncle Acid, even though I'm a fan. I love those guys, but I'm, I'm here for Graveyard. They are one of my all-time favorite bands. Uh, they have that nice sound of uh, classic rock, blues, and soul. It's just sort of mixed together, you know, uh, and... You know, before people were talking about Greta Van Fleet, this band here was, you know, waving the flag for, you know, classic rock sounded bands for a long time. So I'm, I'm ready to be here. The first place I ever saw Graveyard many, many years ago when their first album was out was at the Orange Peel Nashville opening for Clutch. And I'm here to see them again many years later. So um, I'm ready for that. I'm ready to see what Uncle Acid, uh, Acid and the Deadbeats have in store because I've never seen those guys live before. But uh, I am a fan. I hope to hear the song 13 Candles. And uh, so we're going to take a shot of Jaeger. Lady Chapel has already poured us a shot. And uh, we're going to, because tonight is also, you'll, you'll find out if you follow the Facebook that, you know, the Jaeger night for March 8th is the last Jaeger night and also Graveyard. And Graveyard was the first Jaeger night. And they will be the last. So cheers to that and cheers to many more of Chapel's Concert Chronicles. We'll see you at the show.
see something tonight that was something we didn't expect so I don't know how anybody would expect this um, we heard just soul squeezing soul wrenching songs and we heard the most thunderous riffs tonight and I'm talking about Uncle Acid and the Deadbeats Graveyard and the opening act Twin Temple I cannot explain what I saw with Twin Temple or what I expected. I didn't expect this at all. And it was great. They put on a great show, but it was looking at the stage setup, I really felt like this was another Sabbath kind of sounding band, doom doom metal kind of band, the way their setup looked <coughs> with the, you know, kind of the altar and the candles and whatnot, you know. Uh, and then what we got was a 50s doo-wop band with some devilish satanic looking imagery which was the most weird thing I'd ever seen but at the same time um, they were all super talented people um, it's nice to hear a saxophone every now and then <laughs> and, and they were great and um, the, the Basically, the front people of the band, the guitar player, uh, Zachary James, and the lead singer, uh, Alexandra James, um, they, uh, they definitely were uh, some of the most talented people, uh, especially for an opening band. They really captured the audience. The audience loved it. It's like there was a very, you know, metal audience for this show. And you know, you know, Graveyard's not a metal band. Uncle Acid is—I uh, would consider them more of a, a doom 
in the doom genre of metal, sort of, and uh, with a little mixture of classic, you know, rock sound sort of mixed in. But Twin Temple sounded nothing like I expected and really blew me away. And uh, Lady Chapel actually got her picture taken with the, uh, the basically the front people of the band, uh, Zachary and Alexandra James. We will show one right here. <laughs> and she uh, is loving that right now um, but anyways but to move on to the band I was really here for tonight which was Sweden's Graveyard who I've been a fan of for a very long time since their first album so uh, seeing them again tonight in Asheville in the place I saw them for the first time uh, really meant a lot and the first time, honestly, I'd ever seen a band in the middle of a show do an encore. I, honestly, I, I I don't think I've ever seen that. And um, it was it was great. And I and of course they ended with the siren, uh, which is one of my all time favorite songs too. And uh, uh, I wish you could have felt that moment like we all felt right then. And uh, what a show. They did not disappoint. And I'm uh, going to move on to Uncle Acid and uh, the Deadbeats as well. But um, they, they were more thunderous sounding than I expected. I didn't have my Uncle Acid CD to, to display tonight. I wished I did. Um, but... Um, they were they were way more thunderous sounding live than I expected them, and you know that lead singer. The first time I had heard the band, I I, I honestly felt it was a female singer in a, in a doom metal band, and it was not. He it was just he had a very unique high, you know, just like you know. Uh, <laughs> like when you hear Mars Volta for the first time and you realize, wow, <laughs> that guy can sing really high, you know, and sometimes it almost comes off uh, very female-like. And that's sort of what Uncle Acid did the first time I heard them. And But you realize it's kind of like Ozzy not pushing his voice. You know what I mean? It's like that's almost that Ozzy high, but not... Not quite like it's it don't have the, the the super range, but they've got the really cool harmonic together with it. That that is such an interesting sound, and I I I just didn't expect the thunder. The you know what I mean, like the metal thunder that they brought. Um, you know, very classic style, and just what a wonderful show all the way together. And I. Uh, can't think of a better way that I could have spent the eve of my birthday. Um, so uh, tonight was the last Jagger night, which you've you by the time you see this video, you already know that that happened. And you know, Graveyard was the the band that I chose. And all I can say is is this is for Jagger nights ending, but this is about. A new thing so hopefully this will be something everybody will enjoy and see something that I do in my personal time with my lovely wife and uh, cheers everyone and hope you find some good music <laughs>